It's Monday. I'm not ready for another Monday. I'll do the dice, dude. We don't get another break for a while. Bummer. Well, stay tuned for the first of this week's announcements. <laughs> This is the administrative announcements with whiteness and... And I'm Chooch Connor. This, today is Monday, February 23rd, 2015. First of all, today's Mars behavior is motivation. Motivation is what uh, leads you to do what you need to do in order to be successful. Things such as keeping up with homework and classwork and studying for tests. If not, you might end up in ISS. No. <laughs> as well as mandatory tutoring on their Saturday school. And if that doesn't work for you, uh, the admin here don't play around, so you could end up being held back. So keep yourself motivated to succeed. And another reminder about uniforms. Here's a breakdown of the correct things to wear. And that includes navy blue, black, white, and khaki colors. And for style, zip-up hoodies, polo shirts, and slacks. No leggings or jeans, por favor. Unless it's 40 degrees or below. Um, if you wear something that is out of uniform, put it in your locker. If it is that cold, you can only wear out of uniform between items, between classes. How many times do we got to say this? Once you're in class, out of uniform clothes come off. If you are always cold, then wear things that are in uniform. Also, a reminder from the office. Do not ask for scheduling changes. Okay, the office aren't giving any. End of story. Another reminder, uh, another thing I have to ask for is ice packs. Ice packs will not cure what ails you. When it comes to little bumps and scratches, suck it up, buttercups. Next up, don't forget that headphones and earbuds are not allowed. Neither are any electronic, device, electronic devices, except for what is assigned to you by the school. Tuggy, food, drinks, gum, and candy. Knock it off. It's uh, district policy. Don't you understand? Not Mr. Nason's. Finally, we need to be clean students because Mr. Scott and his team worked extremely hard to make our campus a clean one. Anyway, don't panic. We have more on the way. Southern trees. Hello, students. My name is Jennifer Smith, your favorite community liaison. I am here today to talk to you about black history. February, as we know, is Black History Month. So let me give you a little update about what's going on right now. So we have multicultural black history. We can talk about Obama and Gabby Douglas. But Black History Month also means African American Month in America. And it's an annual observance in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom for the memories of important people and events in history an opportunity for you to celebrate. So you can meet Martin Luther King, learn about a great man who worked for racial equality and civil rights in the United States of America. Meet other African American historians. They can tell you their story. So come join us on Saturday, February 21st, 2015 from 3 to 5 also at the 21C Library, which is a brand new library. It'll give you a chance to take a tour at the same time, enjoy time. Understand black history is just for February, but if you have any questions about black history here, I can assist you with that. Thank you so much. Then the sudden smell of burning. School announcements are up next. Good morning, students and staff. I'm Damian Camacho. And I'm Christian Starr with today's announcements. Let's talk about one of the special holidays that happened to be today. Today is National Hoodie Who Day. On this national holiday, people raise their raise your head and chant Hoodie Hoodie Who. Also, continue to bring in box tops. Because as many times as we say this, they're still worth it. Cardboard money is really awesome. <laughs> Make sure you help out, guys. It's worth it. Hey guys, join the peer mentor program. 
We are partnering up with Hunt Elementary in buddy reading, in a dinner and buddy reading program. This happens on Mondays through Thursdays. With that, you can have your own little elementary school kid to help. For Ms. Banger, students who come to the library to check books or get lo a loan their computer need the IDs, people. The book fair is coming up soon. Save money. If we raise $2,200, Mr. Adams and others will get bad statues and he's the bat voice. Who knows, maybe even Chris and Bear will, will show up. As we told you before, make sure that you do not miss out on your memories from this year. So pre-order a yearbook. That's it for today. This has been Chris Estrada. And Damien Camacho. Stay tuned for clubs and events. What you doing? Building a Venn diagram. A Smilodon and a Caribou. You know, the saber tooth Smilodon thing reminds me of Dr. Clayton. Huh? Yeah, you know how she's all scary and if you're not careful, she'll bite off your head. You know, what this Caribou reminds me of Mr. Everett, all big and fluffy. Fair enough. Oh, oh, and then if you get Mr. Everett and Dr. Clayton and you squish them together, you get Mr. Dixon. Yeah, he is kind of terrifying like a zombie, but then like he's like a character I used to watch when I was little all the time. I mean, that's so true. Like, if you get Dr. Clayton, the aggressive one, and then you get Mr. Everett, the fluffy Care Bear, and then in the middle is Mr. Nason. If you mix them two together, I wonder if they're his parents. What's up, fam? I'm Joshua Dorgan. And I'm Kyle with the clubs and events. We like to kick things off with a little history lesson called This Day in History. Did you know a year ago today, a 4.4 billion year old crystal is discovered to be the oldest known fragment from the Earth's crust? Well, now on to clubs and events for Battle of the Books. Is prepping for war on Mondays. Then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the step team is gearing up to take on high school and college is in competition. Also on Tuesdays, pre-engineering club. On Wednesdays, Video Lab will be filming in Studio 42. Unfortunately, Environmental Club has been canceled, so I plan lovers and Mother Nature. However, on Tuesdays, feel free to join pre-engineering with Mr. Anderson in room 121. And on Friday, we have National Junior Honor Society meeting with Ms. Kimberly in 144. All clubs run from around 4 to up to 5.30. At 5.30, you have the option of having dinner here at the school, then catch the activity bus. There are exceptions to this, however. Like if it's snowing, extra cold, or icy, check with your club sponsor if your club is still good to go. When the weather is nasty, it is likely that everyone will just want to go home. And one last major event going on at school. If you want, to win, if you want a chance to win a giant bear, be sure to sign up for the m and guest jar. Tickets are a dollar in the, in the drawing will be Monday, March 2nd. All the money will purchase books from the book fair for kids who can't afford books.
The book fair runs through February 23rd to February 27th. Come see the bear. Now for, now for some out-of-school events. Be sure to check out the artwork of fellow students from JSAA. That's all at Imagination Space at the Citadel Mall on the second level across from Imagination Celebration. It runs until March 16th, Tuesday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's all we have for now. This has been Joshua Barty. And Kyle, stay tuned for sports. Hey, welcome to the Swagger Book Fair. My name is Juan Gonzalez. And I'm Juan Monroy. The Book Fair is in full swing. We don't have nearly enough to tell you about the wonderful books we have. And today's book is The Heartbreak Messenger. Heartbreak Messenger. By Alexander Vance. You wouldn't think a seventh grader could break the hearts of so many high school girls. That's exactly what Quinton has been doing. And he's making good money up of it. These girls aren't interested in him, of course. They have serious high school boyfriends. But these boyfriends seriously want out. Which is where Quinton comes in. For $25, guys can hire Quinton, dubbed the Heartbreak Messenger, to dump girls for them. This, this business will either put him on the road to fame and fortune, or lead to bruises, broken promises, and a bad reputation. Sports is next. What's up, I'm Matrix. And I'm Julian Monchi with this week's sports. Boys basketball is going great. The boys are motivated and ready for their next game. Are you? Um, practice runs from 4 to 6, Monday through Friday with Coach KK. This week our boys will be taking on men at home. Make sure you come and support the boys. Only 50 cents for students unless you have blue or gold car f you get in free. On Wednesday we have soccer in, in the middle. On uh, Thursday we have arena football. Followed by battle ball on Friday. All events run from 7.15 to 7.50 and you must rem remember to be on time and don't just sit around talking to friends. Play or go home. For District 11, indoor soccer league sports hit the Wasson Gym on Mondays from 5.30 to 7. And as a reminder, on March 7, there will be a Festa Frenzy Soccer Tournament. For the national news, it's basketball season. Mike Bunderholzer was named the Eastern Conference Coach of the Month last week. That's old news. Oh, well, it's good news to know. Well, that's your opinion. Whatever. Anyway, now with today's joke of the day. Oh, I got a joke. Oh, let's hear it. How was school? Okay, I guess. No, nah, because you go back tomorrow. Well, that's all we have. This has been Joy Motri. I guess that's all, folks. I'm Matrix. Before we go, would everyone please rise for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.